Hello everyone, yesterday Shopify released their winter 2024 editions and one of the super exciting themes was the theme blocks um, subject. Um, so it's going to release in a developer's preview, so I um, I checked around a bit um, and I played around with it a bit uh, today and I just wanted to share uh, my thoughts. Um, so what are theme blocks? Uh, maybe to begin with, um, they're actually little blocks like we all know that we can add from the customizer, um, but they are um, conceptualized in a different way. Before we actually had uh, sections and it was predefined which blocks you could add to which section. Um, so every time you created a new section, uh, developers um, needed to make sure that it was uh, clear and predefined which blocks were going to be possible to be added to a specific uh, section. Um, if you created another, another section that actually was quite close to the section that was made before, then we had to make that block again uh, for that specific section. For example, I'm going to give an easy example um, in this case because this is uh, these are about text blocks uh, that you see here in the in the image. Um, imagine that you have uh, five different sections and all of those sections they use a certain text block or a button is also a good example. In that case, before you needed to create those sections and every single time for all of these different sections you had to create a text block and a button block. Um, to make sure that people could add a text block and a button block to all of those different sections. Now, with the new team blocks, um, the blocks are actually taken to another level, so that's why they are called theme blocks, and they will actually be available for all of the different sections. So once you have created the block in the blocks section in the theme, and this is what Shopify released before, because before this wasn't here, the blocks section in the theme, you can now um, disperse that block into all of the different sections that you have uh, available for you in the customizer. And this um, actually uh, drives a significant uh, change because it creates a lot of flexibility. So let's dive into it to make it a bit more uh, concrete. So on the one hand, we have a uh, old test store, um, a development store um, that just uh, uses the DOM team. So this is what you are now used to seeing. Um, I will dive into later on what changed obviously, but um, just so you know, so I will be switching uh, between this um, tab in my browser and then we created uh, another store which we called nested blocks um, and here we used the developers preview that we have been discussing uh, here. So those are going to be the different uh, stores and so here you will see a sneak peek into how the developers preview uh, looks um, and how it is different from the um, Dawn team um, and the approach that you currently know if you have a, a team 2.0 obviously. So okay let's go. Um, if we dive into um, a section here, so I'll just move myself here for a bit, um, then you actually see, for example, that you have a collection list section. Um, and you see that you can add collections because this is a collection list. Um, but I don't have any other options. So I can just add collections because it's a collection list. Um, if you then go to the image banner, for example, um, I can now, for example, delete this and I can now add a button, um, but in this section, the only available additional block is a button block. And if I add this button block, then you see that I have reached the three out of three blocks that are supposed to be in this section. So this is what I mentioned before. This is because every single time a section was created or developed, um, yeah, there was a fixed amount of blocks that we added to that section already. And so again, every single time that we created a section, we defined the blocks that were possible to be added to that specific section. Now let's just take the other example. So here we're in the nested blocks um, uh, theme. So this is the developer's preview. Um, so for example, let's uh, take um, this image banner because we were also looking at this image banner before. Um, this is more or less uh, something similar. Um, so now you can actually see that I still have the option to add blocks. Um, um, and maybe I can show you later on how it looks in uh, GitHub because you, um, or actually you can just um, 
take it from me, that there is indeed in the code base um, of the team that we are showing right here, um, that there is a blocks folder where all of those blocks are added. And so from uh, the all of the sections, we can now actually select all of those blocks. And I can actually go on and on and on adding different blocks to this section. So there is no like fixed amount of blocks that I can add to a specific section. So imagine again, sorry, um, that I wanna add another button to it um, and I want to add uh, another uh, heading to this um, and I want to add another uh, icon to this, for example, um, then I can just keep on adding stuff. Why? Because all of those blocks were defined on a theme level and not on a section level. And so I can actually reuse all of those blocks in all of those different sections. So before the section was actually, yeah, it was a fixed amount again, uh, but now I can actually use all, all of those blocks in all of those different sections. So this was an image banner section in the custom uh, section, for example, I can now also add the same blocks and I can also continue to add these same blocks on and on and on. And you will see that the front end will change. Obviously, this is something that we then developers need to do to make sure that there is a certain nice breaking point, etc. But this is just for testing purposes that I'm uh, showing this. Um, then I actually created just to show this as well. Um, so this is actually a, a custom section um, where you can also see all uh, products or collections. And you can see that there is a button here or which I, uh, I added another one, I think later on. Um, voila, it's uh, kind of ugly, obviously, but um, it serves the purpose. Um, so here I had a custom section um, it's this one. And uh, we have a group in this section. So this is also something new conceptually. Um, and I can just add collection cards. And why am I taking this example? Because we uh, checked this one before. So here it's also a section with collections, but I can just add collections to it. This is the only thing that I can do. While here I have a custom section and I can just add collections, collection cards, like I want, but I can also add he headings, I can add icons as I want, and I can just uh, um, create a flexible front end by doing so. So again, I think, uh, or I hope that this shows how much more flexible this whole uh, setup is. Obviously you can switch things around and you can create uh, nestings within uh, these setups. Um, this is actually what you see with the groups. So you have a custom section, you have then this, and then you have a group and in nested in that group, you have all of those different things. So I can actually add another group to this and nest other things within that group as well. Um, so again, a lot of flexibilities are possible. Um, and so within, I was going to show something small, within those groups, I can actually swap things around as well. So I have the option, this was also possible before, but because yeah, it was limited what you can do, you can also obviously switch this around, but because it's only a collection, yeah, it doesn't really uh, add a lot of uh, value. While here, you can actually add whatever you want and you can nest stuff within uh, certain groups also to uh, an extent that whatever you want. Um, and you can also switch uh, things around. So this is all to create um, a whole lot more um, flexibility. Um, I just also want to show maybe la uh, one last thing um, because yeah, it also, this gives really, I think, um, a feeling of where the, the Shopify online store or the customizer is going towards um, because it's a combination of two very beautiful uh, concepts that create a lot of flexibility if you use them together. Um, so what I did here in this store, I actually created a um, new uh, meta object. So if you go uh, to the, um, where is it? Uh, the data, custom data here. Um, I actually added a meta object. So I added the author um, and I uh, added uh, these fields. So an image, name, a birth, a date, and a description. And I added um, one um, entry to this. So if you go to uh, content, for example, and then you have a meta field, then uh, you can see that I added Casey Neistat, um, 
all courtesy to the image. I just took this one from Google, uh, by the way. So this is not an image for me, obviously. Um, and you know already, or I have created a video uh, about this before, uh, that you can actually create pages based on meta objects. So this actually, um, what this says conceptually is that you can actually um, create a fully custom data model within Shopify itself. So now I created an author model, data model, and you can actually create um, pages from this um, new custom data model that I personally created. Um, and then we can create pages. So if you then go to um, author, which is the meta ob object that I ha have created. So just like conceptually again, so these are the standard um, content um, objects that you have. Um, and I have created this custom um, object myself. And so now this is available uh, within the customizer. And then I can actually add a default um, template to it. And then here, the power of the customizations um, actually come because now I can say, um, I can create with whatever blocks that this team has, um, I can actually create a full page completely custom to what I want and to how I created the custom um, data models. Um, so it's a simple example, this one, um, but again, uh, now I can say, okay, let's create a group. And within that group, um, we say we nest a couple of text items. We obviously also have the image here. And I can also say, make this a bit bigger, for example. Okay, then it's big enough that the thing needs to switch uh, or this group needs to switch down. Um, and then I actually have all the texts and I just uh, dynamically um, link it to the meta object fields that I have created. So this actually means that I have full uh, power around how this page should be built uh, with all the smaller sections, uh, which are no, not sections is actually a bad word, but all the uh, smaller blocks in this case, I can just build my section completely just like I want and combine it or uh, link it to the custom data model that I have created with um, the meta objects. Um, if you compare this, because I think I also created a, a author here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, wait, let, here we are. So I just uh, created the same here. So. Here you actually see, okay, I can add a section, which is an image with text section, but I don't have any additional uh, freedom here. So, okay, I created a custom model. Um, I added Casey Neistat, for example. You can add an image here. You can add his text. You can add a button, um, but I actually cannot, okay, I can add a, an, another caption, but that's it. Now I'm actually locked. So I have the template here. It's an image with uh, text uh, section, and now I'm actually blocked. I cannot do anything else. Um, as a merchant, as a user uh, within this uh, section. While um, in the other model, you can actually keep on adding stuff, right? So for example, oh, I want to add another icon to this as well, or I want to add uh, another um, button to this as well, or I want to add two buttons uh, because I think this is going to be uh, helpful. Um, so here I can actually go on and on and on again, showing or showcasing the extreme freedom that you have uh, within this model. Let's just make the image a bit less broad. Um, while in the other case, in this case, I was just locked in. Okay, I could create a section and I could also um, dynamically add it to, for example, the birth uh, date. Um, but I didn't have any other um, freedom within this section, while with the team blocks, I actually had all uh, the freedom that I needed or that I wanted. So this is just uh, to show what the team blocks can do. Um, hope you understood that this could add massive flexibility. 
Uh, maybe it's also interesting to just go through the article together because I just explained the team blocks itself. But Shopify is also working. So this is actually part of a whole bigger uh, investment that they're making to make sure that the teams are even more customizable. And so also one of the things that they will be doing is that they will be able to um, resize it in a drag and drop way from the customizer. So basically you can make your own data models with meta objects. You can then create your own um, yeah, sections basically because you can use all of the blocks within uh, that are created in the team. Um, so you can build whatever section that you would like and you can actually um, drag and drop how that specific uh, section that you created yourself with the blocks should look in a drag and drop WYSIWYG way uh, just like showcased here. So this actually means that within Shopify you will have a full custom flexible um, yeah, customizer that you can work with to create the experiences that you want for your customer. Um, also, styling um, flexibility will also be added that you can, from within the customizer, uh, choose all the fonts, all the colors, etc. So obviously, this, together with this, together with the custom data model that I just explained, together with the uh, team blocks, um, this actually as a whole, if you sum it up, creates the ultimate flexibility within the customizer, uh, within the online store um, of Shopify. So hopefully um, this was interesting and um, yeah, talk to you soon. Ciao.